there with the Curious Expedition, episode number five, expedition number five. Uh, this time again, we're going to take it a little bit easier. I think we're going to go to a green area. Hopefully that is easier. We're going to take it to a grasslands, I believe. Yeah, the golden uh, the golden text means that we've actually got that for, as a bonus from our last mission. So the golden uh, water temple, temple's grasslands. Where the text kind of floats off the box a little bit. It is said that a flooded area filled with many temples can be found in this region. A golden pyramid can be found in this region. So it seems uh, like a fairly big challenge at the same time, uh, considering how few people we have. So we failed to obtain the idol. We didn't steal it from that guy, but uh, I don't think we would have got away with it. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I boarded the ship. The crew had preparations left to do, so I spent my time on the deck enjoying the cool breeze. A scientist approached me this morning with a request. He told me about a mysterious box that was buried somewhere in the area we were traveling to. He promised to reward us generously if we brought it back to him. Um, what happens if I refuse? Do I get another one? I would not get my hands dirty. I was delighted, uh, so we don't get another one, to witness my stories of exploits have lured all manner of intrigue and personalities. I was approached by several capable persons that were hungry for glory and adventure. Who did I want to recruit? We need a new soldier. We definitely need a new soldier. Uh, we absolutely need a, a soldier forged by Empire of Keith Reynolds quality in our trekking team. I rejoiced as our vessel was ready to sally forth. So let's purchase some equipment. Let's get lots of things to keep us sane. Um, we're going to need some extra bullets. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we're going to need as much firepower as we can get. Mm. I guess that's as good as it gets for us. My heart was jumped with joy as I heard the vessel was primed to be put out to sea. So let's set sail. Number five, I'm a little bit worried about this. This doesn't isn't going great uh, just in the fact that we don't have... You know, we don't have the manpower that we used to have. I don't think... Yeah, we don't really have anybody strong. We have Matu left. Was it Matu? No, it was uh, the other one, Spider-Man. A seal shaman. A seal shaman and our new soldier, and that's that's it. And then myself. So let's just begin our expedition right away. Uh, hopefully we can get, find the golden, uh, the golden pyramid without too much trouble. I don't know that we have enough to do a lot of side stuff. Let's enter the stone circle. We came across a stone formation that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions painted up on each rock. Perhaps they formed a manner of map. So let's reveal... Hmm. Let's reveal settlements. Those are going to help us the most, I think. Because we can go there and get some sanity back. I'm sh pretty sure that was... A, what was that a bad idea? That was an excellent idea. Let's use another 25 sanity trekking up here to the border of what we can see. Hmm. She's still volatile. She's still angry. She's still not happy. I guess that last expedition really, really made an impact on her. Um, I don't know how long she's going to end up staying. Like, she might end up just leaving us if, she's, if she becomes too unhappy, right? Let's eat some chocolate. Now we have enough to get here. Uh, and let's travel to this little watered area and see what this is. Am I? Oh, am I walking through grasslands without without water? Is that what's going on? I think that is it. Everyone was relieved to rely. <laughs> Everyone was relieved to arrive at an oasis, a shining beacon of hope. So let's refill water. I should have done that at first. Rest overnight. So. We settled down, and I told the people to rest. It seemed like everyone had lost hope. It was difficult to ignite the fire, depressingly so. Some time ago, I conversed with Keith Ranald, but the British Empire and its abundance of advantages. I'm unsure if it was a good idea, since he seems to become obsessed with this topic. Huh. So he's a, a thief, I guess? And we're getting our sanity back pretty quickly here. We might take another day if we need to. Yeah, we were ill-prepared. We should have definitely been uh, stocked up on water. Let's rest one more time. Prepare camp. The mood was buoyant as I ordered the wood to be gathered for a fire. I laid awake and listened to the chaotic wildlife surrounding me. It had me wondering if there is a way to anticipate the kinds of curses that awaited me when entering the Forsaken Temples in these lands. Even if I paid special attention to each temple's aesthetic, I could gain more knowledge. 
question mark. So there's an inactive geyser over here, which could be something. Everyone was a choice with a set of water, a refuge, and the felgen. Yeah, another. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. So, yeah, we don't need that much water. Let's travel up here to this village. And we're going to start using water, I think, as we walk through some of these dry areas. Yeah, see, there goes one. I think that's what was really killing us so bad. So what happened here? We lost a person. At sunrise, we realized that a still shaman was missing. She had abandoned us while we slept. This in itself was problematic, but she pilfered some of her equipment as well. She ran off with the chocolate. What a bitch. We entered the mission and were welcomed by an old missionary. He rejoiced at the sight of new faces. He had been alone for quite a long time. Hmm. The priest permitted us access to the mission storage room and promised that he would have all items dispatched to the civilized world for us if we were unable to retrieve them ourselves. Okay, so I guess we can drop off gear there. Uh, does he have anything for trade? What's he got? A bag of marbles, a treasure map, and a first aid kit. No, there's nothing I need here. So let's just stay overnight. He demanded compensation if we wanted to, s if we desired to rest with roof over our heads, we would have to make a donation. Oh, a big donation too. Fuck that. What an asshole. No deal. No. Screw it. That's no. That's really bad. What kind of church is this? We shook hands. He blessed our journey. Now discoveries await. Damn, dude, that was really, really shitty of you. We are, like, really not in good shape. That lady took all our chocolate. Let's examine the shrine. The shrine towered above us. Time had eroded what had once been in a majestic sight. What remained of a narrow staircase led to it. Led only to the entrance, celestial symbols of the sun and moon and stars are carved into the various surfaces of the structure. We're gonna have to go without safety. Somebody's gonna get hurt, I bet. Yeah, that wasn't good. I was sure we could do this. I ordered everyone to be careful and skill the shrine without safety measures. Fate smiled upon us. Exhausted but proud of our accomplishment, we successfully climbed the wall. I am very proud of this intrepid team. We had found a sacred altar room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. An altar illuminated with breathtaking ambience stood atop a plinth. What's up here? Ooh, treasure. A golden skull, definitely taken that, and a moonstone. Oh man, I really want it. Let's just take it and see what happens, if we can use it. Because I, I always thought these did something. Mm. So what a glorious day. That was exactly what we came for. As we took what we came for, I noticed a black nothingness become, began to form atop the altar like a pen brick. In the flesh of reality, it was expanding steadily, visible, destructively. All we could do is run as far away from it as possible and hope. So we did something awful there. And... Boom. We can't carry that. We don't have enough to carry that. Uh, but I think we're going to have to try to get to this mission. We're going to try to have to rest there. And we're going to have to give them something that we don't want to give them necessarily for the rest. Um, because, you know, otherwise we're we're not going to make it. Okay, so we... It's only right to request compensation if we were to have a roof overhead. We have to make a donation. So... Damn, he wants, like, something really cool, too. Like, that's the worst part, is this guy isn't like, oh, here, like, here's something, you know, sensible, practical. He's like, no, let's just take some, like, golden trinkets from you. Uh, give him the golden earrings, and can we request anything? Not really. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really know what to do with this. Okay, well, we'll take it. With his demands met, he agreed to let us rest overnight. The priest scurried off and quickly returned with several bottles of whiskey that he desired to share with us, so he at least was a good host. Uh, okay, so we got 10 sanity from drinking with him. He passed the whiskey around. It was splendid vintage, and we enjoyed the evening immensely. We slept for the night. Oh, we only got 30 more sanity for the night. Can we rest? 
Ooh, we'd have to give him more stuff to stay for one more night. And it's like another big amount. So we gave him golden earrings for one night to stay there. We said our farewell and he wished us, wished us well onwards. Oh, fuck. That was rough. So, hmm. Can we make it back here? Oh my god, if we can make it down here, we can at least... Yeah, if we can make it to that, that oasis down here, we might have to fight a dinosaur of some kind. But we can camp here. This is a good enough place to camp for us. This guy is not happy. Times were dark and Wreath Ranald was my only human companion. It was just a matter of time before we got into a pointless argument. I don't recall exactly how it started, but it involved an indecent amount about the similarities between my lacking forethought and my goals. We did not speak for the rest of the day. Damn. I was hoping that me and him would be friends, so he's a racist kleptomaniac. Huh. Interesting. The things you learn about somebody when you have to spend time with them. So he probably was like one of the worst picks secretly for the expedition, but... Hmm. Weird. Uh, so the air was fresh and cool as repaired. The campfire took great pleasure in sitting by the crackling fire. I got out my satchel kit to record my experiences of my personal journey. I noticed Keith Randall observing me in ways that would that one would show desire. Huh. Okay. A bit strange. Just a bit. Uh, we need to somehow get past that dinosaur. Because that thing will fucking kill us, I think. Hopefully. Oh man, oh man. That was a close call. This is the edge of the map. Are you serious? I really thought that... Oh, fuck. So it's somewhere to the north, possibly? But we are opening up a whole can of whatever that is. Dude. Oh, that oasis is going to be swallowed up by the darkness. That's our only place of sanity. That's our only place that we can go. Come on, keep going. You gotta make it. Oh, no. Your trek was sucked into the dark nothingness. Final score of 1690. You can also select diary actions by pressing a number on the keyboard. Hmm. So how do we do? Got to expedition number 5, 93 days in. Okay. Hmm. Discovered 49% of the world. Not too bad. I guess where we were looking for was somewhere up here. We shouldn't have taken all that stuff. I should have known better considering we were, you know, so badly. Like, we weren't doing so great. I wonder if that question mark there was the Golden Pyramid or something to help unlock it. I bet it was. I bet it was something. So, I guess we're going to have to start a new game on the next episode. We're going to play as somebody else. Uh, really not too sure who I'll pick, but I'll, I'll figure somebody out for the next episode. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me on this one. Um, it's been a pleasure. Like, comment, subscribe if you're really feeling it. Uh, any kind of support like that, it really helps me out a lot. Uh, thank you guys so much, and until next time.